Hey guys, this is Debarshi, your Autistic Tech Boy. Today we are back with another video. We have a new power battery replacement for my brother's 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. The battery in this baby is three years old. Inside here is a 63.5 watt-hour battery. This is a 65 watt-hour battery. So my hope is that the slightly larger capacity will also help with better battery life. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to want to do is flip our MacBook Pro to its backside. Then we want to take a 3.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. Make sure to keep track of the screws. Up here you're going to see three large screws. Be very careful about where you place screws. You do not want to lose these. We should probably order a few of Amazon, but who wants to do that? And then you're going to have another seven small screws around the laptop. These are very tiny. Be very, very precise about how you go about doing this. Last screw. Then you just take off the back cover. Oh wait, <laughs> one last screw I forgot. Then we just take off the back cover like this. As you can see, it's got some dust in it. We will take care of that in a bit. Now we have this black battery. Before we do anything else, we want to unplug this battery because if we don't do that, we could potentially lose the data of our hard drive and our logic board could potentially get fried. Unlikely, but it can happen. Let's open up our new battery, which should contain, not just this battery right here, two different screws. One of them is your traditional Phillips, but another one is a tri-lobe screwdriver. It's a special type of screwdriver that is made for these two specific screws right here. Use the tri-lobe to first take out these two screws. I'll put them inside this phone, not to, so, I, so I don't complicate things by mixing them up with the other screws. We want to pull off this black tab right there. Voila! Take a look at that. This old battery right here is out. How do we put the new one back in? It's actually really simple. It's got this pull tab right here, just like the old one. We've got a connector right here, like the old one. First, you'd probably want to peel off the plastic. We have the battery. We can literally just put it under these three screw holes, and voila, it fits like that. Remember the two screws that we unscrewed? Well, that's exactly what we need to use to screw them back using the tri-lobe screwdriver. The large screw goes on the right-hand side, right here, and the smaller screw goes on the left-hand side. Screw in the small screw first. Almost there. Whew. Make sure that's firm and tight. And you see the large screw on the right here. Make sure that's firm and tight. Now you see the connector here. Be very careful, plug it in. Make sure you don't bend the wires or anything. On the Unibody Macro Pros, you wanna check the indicator's light is working. And it is, it is. As you can see, it is empty right now. And now you literally just undo everything we did. Take these screws right here and put them back in where they belong. So the three large screws go at the top corner down to the second from the left. Make sure to use the regular Phillips screwdriver for this. Now that we have finished installing the battery, we have to fully charge the battery. And then what we want to do is we want to calibrate it. We want to let it go through one or two charge cycles from 100 to zero. There are specific instructions on how to do this in a video by the company. 
newer tech. I will link that below. Besides that, this has been your autistic tech boy, Debarshi. See you in the next video.